Welcome back, everybody. So we all heard of COVID, right? But have you ever heard of the term long COVID? Here to tell us what that means and how Hawaii is staying safe, we bring in Coralie Chan Matayoshi of What's the Law to tell us a little bit more. Coralie, how are you doing? Hi, Mikey. Great. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I thought we were kind of over the COVID talk, but, but I'm so interested on this long COVID term because many people in Hawaii have had COVID. But a recent survey found out that about 30% are still suffering from long COVID, okay? So can long COVID be considered a disability that would legally require employers to make special you know, concessions for an employer, for an employee? It's complicated because long COVID is new with varied symptoms and nobody knows how long it lasts. But physical and mental disorders that substantially limit one or more major life activities may be considered a disability under the Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA. The United States Department of Labor recommends that employees determine if reasonable accommodations would enable employees with long COVID to perform their essential job functions. Tune into my podcast for tips on how to handle this persistent and significant health issue. Okay, super interesting. Um, and about a year ago, you guys, the U.S. Supreme Court expanded the Second Amendment right to carry concealed guns in public. How has Hawaii lawmakers responded to, you know, keeping the public safe? All four counties have adopted rules on when someone can get a concealed gun permit, including mental health factors. Honolulu and Big Island counties enacted their own laws to restrict guns in sensitive places like churches and schools. To provide uniformity throughout the state, the legislature just passed some bills that we hope the governor will sign into law. Now, there's a long list of where guns are not allowed, including state and county property, hospitals, places that serve alcohol, schools, sport events events, public transit, courthouses, parks, and beaches. But private uh, property owners like businesses and stores and restaurants have a right to ban guns on their premises. And in fact, gun owners need express permission to carry their guns there. You have to be at least 21 years of, of age to, and receive training and have a concealed gun license on you and carry only one gun at a time. You can't leave it in your car unattended. You can't drink alcohol or do drugs with one. And you need to tell the police you have one if stopped. And if you cause injury or property damage by discharging your firearm without justification, you are absolutely liable for whatever happens. Guns are dangerous and we need to be careful around them. No, very true. Um, also, everybody, what, if you guys didn't know, it's currently Law Week. And Law Week is happening right now. It's this week. Tell us what's happening. Young lawyers from the Hawaii State Bar Association will appear on KHON 2's Wake Up Today every morning this week, covering different legal topics. Volunteer lawyers will also offer a free legal hotline every evening this week from 6 to 7 p.m. and in-person Ask a Lawyer clinics at various statewide locations this weekend. Perfect. So stay with KHON, you guys, in the morning so that you guys can stay up to date with everything that's happening in Law Week. And make sure you guys stay up with our friend Coralie Chen Matsuyoshi. We'll have more information on khon2.com. Coralie, great talking to you and have a great rest of your day. You too, Mikey. Thanks. Thanks, Coralie.